Okay, still trying to calibrate these throttle as per uh, Mr. RC Flyer's information. And uh, what, what he recommended that we do is, we've done this a few times now, I about know it by heart. I'm going to remove this throttle from the receiver. And you want to remove the ESC wires from this device. Uh, let me try it a different way now. I'm going to leave these three plugged in. Pull out this motor one. And I'm going to plug it into the throttle channel of the receiver. See if I can calibrate one motor. No matter how I'm doing this, I'm not getting a, a confirmation beat. Now we're going to put the throttle at full stick. Drop the throttle. No confirmation beat. Now, let's do it the way RC Flyer recommended. Remove all of the ESC wires from here. And now we just have to throttle in. Put the transmitter on full throttle. Plug her in. Drop the throttle. No confirmation B. Uh, let me try and see if I'm not possibly dropping the throttle at the right time fast enough. Drop the throttle. No confirmation. And then after that, we're supposed to do each. This seems to be on the wrong side. This is, these are the signal leads. Well, let's try this again. Oh, there it goes. Well, that was a different one. Okay. Well, let's try to calibrate the next motor. Right out there. I've been pulling my skull with this all night. Sudden, now decides to work. That's why you must not give up. Just relax, and uh, a little trial and error, and you always figure this stuff out some kind of way. Full throttle. Maybe since I got that one done, let's try and plug this first motor. Back in here. But we still don't have the throttle lead connected back to the throttle channel, so that don't make that I don't think that'll make any sense. Let me just try the next wire. Okay, 
lever up. The arming side. Okay, Mr. RC Flyer, so try to let you see what I got going here. That's the throttle, it's unplugged. Let me try one more. In the throttle channel as recommended. That's weird. Now let's go back. Well, that ain't how that's gonna work. We got a signal down here with pop. That's another thing, this uh, receiver says these pins on this side are the grounds, but these are signal ends on the ground side, so they could possibly be upside down, but still these are only the aileron elevator and the rudder control. Let's see. Oh yeah, well that still would have something to do with the... Uh, motors. Let's try flipping these over. That's possibly why that one motor, motor one works, but speed of the motor. So I'm gonna give this a shot to put these bad boys over. Right. So I'll make sure I've tried everything. Calibrate motor one again. First, there we go. Actually, the motor one has been calibrated. Let's see if this will allow the other one to calibrate now. so it'll have some sort of power. Possibly. Throttle, throttle. 
No confirmation tone still. No power to the receiver. Full stick. Drop the throttle. Still no confirmation tone. stick on the throttle drop the throttle no confirmation tone make sure I got them all I'll do this other one on the outer end again No confirmation. Okay, so I've done this a few times. I guess I can explain what I've been doing now. Get a little closer here. Get the best I can. On this thing, whatever it is, QQ Super. Uh, this AER imagines elevator aileron and rudder. So those are plugged into the receiver. Then this is the throttle. So I'll put it back now. It doesn't matter what order they're in right now because uh, the motor's still not throttling up. Always figured uh, working on one of these would not be easy. Gonna get beat up one way or another trying to fly, either putting it together or tearing it up. It's strange how the red light is flashing and this is in mind properly. Full throttle, still nothing. But hey, I got the motors running again. <laughs> I can only figure out this calibration. Now, let's go back and try it on. M1 is for 
This one right here, black, red, and gray, is one speed controller. It's, uh, well, I guess that wouldn't work. Try to calibrate the throttle on that one like this first. Sure, I've tried this. Let's just see what will happen. Got the throttle. No confirmation. And the motors don't power up. <coughs> Go back. This is a. This is the. Let's say this is the first one of the ESC. Let's say it's ESC number one. I should have been able to plug it into this throttle channel and calibrate it. Okay. So. Check the throttle endpoints on this. This is throttle. Oh, it goes in there. This goes in there. Throttle. Back into the ESC controller. Come on, buddy. Make me put on my glasses. Okay. And then these two in the wrong place. They're spinning, but they won't speed up still. Okay, so I guess I've tried almost everything here. Let's see if we can get Mr. RC Fly or somebody who's familiar with the inner Emacs 4 in 1. That's yeah, 4 ESCs in one unit. I kind of like this unit. If you can figure out how to get it to work. Rather than having four separate ESCs. Yeah. Pretty nice idea. Thanks for watching. Time for me to make some breakfast. Hope you can help us out, Mr. RC Flyer. 26.